Okie dokie, so today I want to talk about a bubbling strategy for the ACT. Um, I don't think I do it like most people, um, like my dad. One strategy you can do is bubble every answer. So that means um, after you finish the question, you go in and on the bubble sheet, you know, if it's number one, you had A, B, C, D, okay, we know it's B, and you shade it in. So in doing that after every question, this is not the way I do it, but a way you could do it. And then the second way I'm going to call is block bubbling. And you can do this in a couple ways. Um, some people might want to do it, you know, per passage or per page or per like 20, per 15 or 25, 15 questions, kind of different variations. But basically, instead of doing it every time, you pick an increment. And then you bubble when you meet it. So for like English, um, another thing I would try to do in block bubbling because this strategy will leave you possibly with you low on time and then you have all these bubbles to fill in. So if the five minute break is called, start to bubble if you haven't done any yet. From what I found, it's going to take me usually about three minutes to bubble everything in. And so in, in a test where minutes can count, um, Knowing that, hey, it's going to take me about three minutes, I can start at the five minute timer and cover all the bubbles is something reaffirming. Usually, I don't want to get that bad though. What I will do is do as many questions as possible, and then before I start the last passage or section for any of the tests, I will go back and bubble everything else. So it's kind of like climbing. When you climb a mountain, um, and you're, you're climbing it, they'll climb up and then they'll put a little stake in with a ring in it and you fish your rope through that and then you'll climb up some more and put a little ring in so that way if you're climbing up here and then you fall you're caught by this the one you've made progress to so don't let yourself get too high without building without bubbling up to your where you are so be aware when bubbling if you're doing the block bubbling thing where you are. Um, bubble, bubbling every answer, I don't like to do that because I feel like you lose some focus switching from doing the question and then answering. Also, when I'll do it, I'll call it like break bubbling maybe. Break. Um, I'll do as many as I can, so like a math, maybe it's like 30, and then when I start to kind of get tired or fed up with questions, then um, just to give my mind a break, I'll go in bubbles because it's it's slightly less cognitively um, intensive, so kind of use it as a rest time. Or if you're frustrated or stuck on something um, and you have nothing left to move on to, you know, go fill out some bubbles and then come back and maybe your mind's a little bit clearer. So some things to keep in mind when bubbling on the ACT. Thanks for watching.